This program provides education, not advice. See the truthayf.com disclosure page for details. This is where technology, innovation, and personal finance come together. This is the truth about your future with Rick Edelman. Brought to you by Global X ETFs, dedicated to providing investors with unexplored intelligent solutions. It's Thursday, June 15th. All this week, all next week, we're talking about video games. Games? No, no, no. I mean, sports. Not playing video sports, watching video sports. You know, 100 million people watch golf on TV, but 500 million watch esports worldwide. And 40% of these people are over the age of 35. Consider the Free Fire World Series. Free Fire is a video game. Five and a half million viewers. People from all over the world are doing this. In China, 47% of the country watch other people playing video games. In Indonesia, it's 40%. Malaysia, 29%. Egypt, 20%. In Spain, 17% of the population watch others playing video games. This is called eSports. Do you know what eSports is? Two billion people know what eSports is, electronic sports, but only 20% of adults in the U.S. follow it. 80% of Americans have never even heard of eSports. You know, you can get a college degree in eSports. You can get a full college scholarship in eSports now. And although 80% of Americans have never even heard of this, 69% of Gen Z knows all about it. These are people in their 20s. Esports globally is a billion dollar business. The Chinese have the biggest share, 360 million, a third of the global market. The US is number two with about a quarter of a billion dollars of that market. Gaming, you know what the number one category on YouTube is? Number one, music. Number two, gaming. The most valuable esports team in the world is a team called TSM, Team Solo Mid. It's worth $540 million. Did you ever hear of a guy named Johan Sunstein? He's the top earning esports player. He's earned so far $7.2 million. The Dota 2 Championship, Dota, D O T A, Defense of the Ancients, the Dota 2 Championship has $48 million worth of prize money. How much money are they earning by playing in the Super Bowl? You know, eSports has a lot of people watching, and some of those watchers become gamers themselves. In South Korea, there's a chain of schools. They've got 3,000 students age 9 up that are learning how to play video games. Their hope is to become a professional eSport athlete. The school charges 500 bucks a month for three sessions a week. Did that industry exist 15 years ago? Even five years ago? This is the point. And now you know why we're talking about video gaming all this week and all next week too. You know, every week, my wife Jean produces her own podcast. It's available at selfcarewithjean.com. And her new podcast premieres each week, every Thursday. Jean's word of the week is savor. You can listen to Gene's podcast anytime you like, everywhere that you get your podcasts. Subscribe at selfcarewithgene.com. Head over there right now. The link is in the show notes. I'll see you tomorrow. The Truth About Your Future is sponsored by Global X ETFs. Amid inflation, rising rates, and a host of other economic challenges, volatility has been one of the few constants lately. But as listeners of this show know better than anyone, it's important to look past the short-term headlines and focus on the bigger picture. Despite the ups and downs of the news cycle, exponential technologies continue to advance, shaping a world of new possibilities in engineering, transportation, healthcare, and renewable energy. At Global X ETFs, we offer a diversified product lineup, including risk management solutions to navigate the storm, along with thematic strategies targeting the growth opportunities of tomorrow. Whatever your goals, visit GlobalXETFs.com to explore how our research and insights may help you achieve your goals. Cutting edge investment information delivered in plain English. This is the truth about your future with Rick Edelman.